triple C. I'ma make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. Does size really matter? Guys, this isn't a this isn't a conversation for the women. This is a conversation for us short kings here. Because let me tell you guys something. A lot of people think because you don't have because somebody has a range on you means it's an advantage. That is so not true. I remember I'm gonna go back the first time that I fought Demetrius. And you, you know, you can attest to this stuff too. Yeah. Because we're accustomed to finally fighting taller people. When I first time I fought Demetrius, I was like, I'm like, dude, this dude is like, he's a lot shorter, which made him a lot quicker, which made him a smaller target. A lot of times people think because you're short, it's a disadvantage. Not really. You're more explosive. You're you're harder to take down because of the level change. Of how far I have to go to the level change to get to his hip. You see what I'm saying? Where I can typically have the hip area right here. When I fought Dominic Cruz, it was like boom. I just pretty much would just slide into the takedowns because he was so damn tall. In other words, being short. Finding somebody that has more length, there's more body to grab. There's so much more body to grab for me, and I think it's not so much based on you, your short stature, but it's based more on your gifts and your distance recognition, right? And what is that you're gonna have to go? And not just that, guys, but being short just means you're a lot more explosive, you're faster, you can bring things a lot quicker. Demetrius? Yeah, I agree with him. I mean, you look at some of the guys that are, I mean, good example is, you look at Volkanovski fighting Max Holloway. He was a shorter fighter, but he was actually winning the striking advantage because he understood the biggest thing, which was distance, right? And for me, in my career, when I fight guys who are the same height as me, I actually have a hard time because the distance and the range is a little bit different, right? And just like Hume says, when you find a taller guy, you have much more, I don't have to change as much elevation. I just go, boop, and I'm there, all right, has got probably about one or two inches on me. Don't tell him that, maybe on a good day, but um, I can get there a lot sooner and the distance thing too. A lot of people don't understand is that when I'm controlling the distance, the other guy thinks he is in control of the distance, but in reality, I am. So it almost makes him bait. He throws that right hand and he's, he's offline. Now I can come here and then drop into there. And I can cover that distance a lot faster than him because I know how to work there. So I agree. I think, I think the biggest thing that we can take away from all this is really it's, it's, it's understanding your ability. We all come in different shapes, sizes. Like even go back and even talk about somebody like fat, like Andy Ruiz. But you know what he does have? He has that center of gravity of being mm. thick, of being a short heavyweight butt. Man, the dude is centered and he can throw. He's super quick. So you guys, do not, es do not underestimate your size because when you know how to use your ability, understand your position, your composure, and your distance, it doesn't matter who you fight. What does matter, and I will say this, it is the weight. The weight is what really matters in everything that we do. And this is, this is how everything, to me, I'll take my chances with anybody according to the same way. So I'm not afraid of anybody. You got anything on that with, with the weight no, situation? I, I, I think the weight situation is a, a huge thing. I mean, that's why they have weight classes for a reason, right? I mean, even in kickboxing, the weight classes for a reason because obviously you're fighting a sheer bigger gentleman and he's throwing body kicks over and over. I mean, you look at, uh, I remember there was back in K1 Global, uh, also Overeem was blasting a dude who's way bigger than him. This was like Overeem, Overeem. Blasting, a blasting guy, he broke the guy's arm just because he was way bigger than him. So I agree with you, weight does play a factor in this. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. If you guys have any issues with the short kings, man, you guys already know, dude. Volkanovski is another short king. Demetrius Johnson, Triple C. I mean, it's out there, guys. You guys really have to understand your ability. It's not the range. It's the distance. Because it, the distance will give you the timing. Timing doesn't give you the distance, if that makes any sense to you guys. Do you, do you think reach advantage is, is overrated in, in MMA? Um, yes. Yes, because... Yes, because I, I go back to the distance, right? Yep. If I can just keep my distance with the longer guy, let's say this is Max Holloway. I'm going to have to be a little further out, but when I come in, I'm going to have to be a lot more aggressive in order for me to hit. You see what I'm saying? So I do have to make those adjustments to be able to get inside and actually throw. I'm not going to be able to just fake in on a taller guy like I, like I would with Demetrius Johnson. It's going to have to become a lot more aggressive to get what I want. So these are the key factors that if he can play the small, the small target, the explosive movements and the footwork of being a short fighter, it'll take you a long way. 
and, and the biggest thing about that, chiming on that, is that <clears throat> us shorter fighters, we're always fighting people who are taller. So we're accustomed to fighting taller guys our, complete, our whole lives. But then when you get a guy who's tall, he's always training with taller guys. He never fights a guys who are smaller, or trains with guys who are smaller. So I think that puts a huge piece of it as well. So tell all those mamacitas that size doesn't matter. <laughs> how about how about you, DJ? When you when you fought Marais, uh first time versus second time, did, did you know? Did, did you get a little bit more used to the size difference? Um, the size difference, no. It's like I said, it's all about distance, right? It's like once you get in there, once I went the first time, the distance, I was I didn't completely understand my my gift of being. I mean, this might sound funny, my gift of being a shorter fighter. So after watching him the second time when he fought Yuya Wakamatsu. To and seeing him live, and then when I found the third, the, the, when I fought him the second time, I was like, okay, I understand everything, I understand my distance, I don't to cover it. I'm um, just made it a lot more easier. Yeah. We have it, and we are out. So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember, there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out.